What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is an um, uh, oracle card reading for Sign of Cancer for August of 2022. This could resonate if you have um, cancer in any aspect of your charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Snow, Moon, Haven, Jupiter charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free channel, collective reading. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you like to donate, it's High Priestess Tarot 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash app, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys from the bottom of my heart chakra. Okay. So, this could resonate with cancer in any aspects of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Moon, Hanger, Jupiter charts. I encourage everybody to check out their Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node signs for additional message or messages if um, they do apply for you. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Tarot 5. Uh, PayPal link in the description box below. If you'd like to donate, I appreciate each and every one of your donations. And I appreciate all the recent donations as well. I just want to let everybody know that. Spirit messages you have signed to answer. Love. Lily. So Lily is the spiritual love card. And nest, an emotionally secure loving family is important to you. These are looking good, Cancer. Holy crap. A Taurus boss and a death of a Taurus. Is about to become very significant in a Cancer's life. Okay, I heard a Taurus boss and the death of a Taurus is about to become very significant in a Cancer's life. So, um, a Taurus boss, so it could be your Taurus boss or somebody you're connected to this Taurus boss. But a Taurus boss, they have Taurus in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Sun, Moon, Hanging, Jupiter charts. So, kind of Taurus boss is about to become significant in your life, whether it's yours or somebody you're connected to. And, um, a death of a Taurus. So, it sounds like the death hasn't happened yet, but it's upcoming in the universe. I heard um, there that person is a Taurus about to pass away. They could have Taurus in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, north, moon, 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 Jupiter charts, if um, that message applies to uh, Cancer. Okay, we have Mouse and Dragon. The dark. <clears throat> Midnight is about to become very significant in a Cancer's life soon. Midnight is about to become very significant in a Cancer's life soon. So, in this aspect, it's physically the dark. Um, midnight is about to become very significant in a Cancer's life soon. So, I feel like we a meeting at midnight or a kiss at midnight because we have love. Or maybe if you're a reader or a spiritual practitioner, maybe uh, you do money manifestation spell at midnight or some kind of protection spell or evil eye protection or something like that at midnight. If it's on the light side, hopefully it's on the light side, just saying, just saying. But somehow midnight is about to become significant in one of you guys' life in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, for some of you dealing with the earth or a fire sign, if you are, they could have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or Aries, Leo, Sag. 
and there's Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Moon, and Hammer, Jupiter charts, if you are. Mouth. A demotion is about to become very significant in Cancer's life. And a pest control company. A demotion and a pest control company is about to become very significant in Cancer's life. So um, that could be you getting demoted or somebody you're connected to getting demoted. Um, demotion means going down a rank in, in the workforce, basically. Um, I've never been demoted. I've just been wrongfully terminated. So I don't know. <laughs> but somehow a devotion is significant in somebody's life. Um, how that resonates and applies. It could be yours or somebody you're connected to. But somebody's about to get demoted. And then um, 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 a pest control company. So I think some one of you or somebody you're connected to has some a, a mice problem or a rodent problem or a rat problem or roach problem or some kind of rodent or insect problem pest control company um so you plug it in how it resonates um because i heard pest control company so i think of mice or roaches or ants or something like out of control to where a pest control company needs to come take care of the issue um it could be you or somebody you're connected to dragon A cancer's third eye is about to open up in a huge way. It's about to benefit them in, in huge ways. One is about to develop spiritual gifts. Well, that's beautiful, cancer. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So one of you guys' third eye is about to open up. So third eye chakra. It's about to open up and activate, baby. And I heard you basically are going to develop spiritual gifts. And I guess that's why we have the spiritual love card here. Which is really freaking beautiful, man, because, um, and I think you're going to love it. Um, love for the spiritual gifts. Um, that's beautiful. Whoever you are, sir, ma'am, you can be mask or fam. I think you're going to either develop clairaudience, clairvoyance, clairsentience, psychic me medium abilities, or dreamscape. You plug it in, how it resonates. I love it. So, third eye. Third eye. Just saying. And a cancer sister is about to betray them in a huge way. Fire sign sister. You are about to completely close all access to funds at this point. It's going to be over money. She says she's trying to help you, but really she's stealing from you. Oh, okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. So you can be mask or femme cancer, but it's your sister. So I feel it could be a foster sister, a biological sister, or a person you call a sister. But she's close enough to you to where you trust her enough with money. I'll tell you that. So I think she's joint on a banking account and a business with you, uh, is what I feel, uh, whoever you are. And for some, I feel your business might be a reading business because it's a spiritual love business. But you plug it, uh, not spiritual love business, but spiritual love card. But you plug it in how it resonates, Cancer. Um, but however that resonates, whether you're a reader or not, I feel you have a business or businesses. And your sister has access to financial dealings. So I think she's joint. You made her joint on an account or accounts. I heard she's telling you she's trying to help you. That's her premise behind this. Oh, I'm helping you. Oh, I'm helping you. Oh, I'm helping you. But in reality, she's stealing from you. And I think you're primary on the account. I heard um, once you find this out, you're going to shut shut her shut access off to her on the financial. 
And I don't blame you. I would do the exact freaking same thing, man. Because that's not cool. It's not cool. And that's just the truth. The dark. A cancer reader that has collaborated with a younger Leo feminine reader behind the scenes doing black magic in the past. It's about to seriously backfire on both of you. Know this in a huge way. Oh, why do y'all do that shit, man? Okay. So it's a cancer reader. This is for a cancer reader and a younger Leo femme reader. So I feel you can be a masculine or femme cancer reader, whatever age, whatever, whatever. But the younger Leo femme reader you have collaborated with behind the scenes to do dark arts with, I feel is 36, 35 or below. She can have Leo in her sun, moon, rising, Venus, or Femme, and Hammer, Jupiter charts. You guys have already collaborated behind the scenes and done dark arts together, it sounds like. Hoodoo, voodoo, witchcraft, um, Blasey, blasey, bloody, blasey, whatever these people call it. I don't know. I've never done any hoodoo, uh, hoodoo, voodoo, yazzy, 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 hexes, curses, whatever. Yeah, you guys were doing, okay? Um, you use your powers on the dark side, and you collaborate, collaborated with this younger Leo Fem to do it, but I heard soon it's about to backfire on you. It's about to backfire on you and her. Um, so you abuse the spiritual laws there. Hello. Hello, Alexa. My credit card is called Discovery Plus. I'm Trish, Trevor, and Amy. Great news. We've got you free from the consumer credit debt on any credit card you've got due for any account you pay. Good news. Okay. Sorry. Okay, yeah. So, um, yeah. I heard it's about to uh, energetically backfire. And, uh, you know, dark arts can backfire in many ways. Many ways. So, you know, you have to plug into your own life how it resonates. It can backfire in the form of medical conditions, mental health conditions, um, motor vehicle accidents, unexplained, strange uh, series of, of fortunate events. I mean, many different ways. So, however, this is about to backfire. It can backfire in money loss, business declining, etc., etc. Many ways. Let's, okay, spiritual love. A religious organization is about to become very significant in a cancer's life. Some just starting attending this play, uh, this religious organization, this place. Some you're about to find out about the dirty, dirty dealings in this religious organization and place. Okay, uh, um, religious organization is about to become very significant in cancer's life. For some, it sounds like you're about to start attending some kind of religious organization. Sounds like first time visitor or uh, or a couple time visitor. It sounds like you like this place. It's a place of spiritual worship, religious and spiritual worship. Um, how that pl plugs in and resonates in your life, that's for at least one. Um, I feel you're a pretty new person there for situation one. For situation two, I feel you've been going there a while. I feel you're a member. For some, you could be, be a member. For some, maybe not be a member. But I feel whether you're a member or not, you've been going there a while. And basically, you're about to learn about the dirty dealing workings of this religious organization. I don't, I don't attend churches. I don't, I don't like them. 
I don't like them. That's just my personal opinion and preference. I don't like churches. Uh, I think they're very culty, but that's just my opinion and my preference. Now, I don't down anybody that likes churches or religious organizations or what have you, what have you. But one of you guys does, and that's fine. I mean, that's your preference and your, um, your, you know, preference. And absolutely. But for one of you guys, I feel you've been going there a while. You've been going there a while, and you're about to learn about some dirty dealings behind the scenes, shicey crap going on um, in this religious organization. A spiritual love is the religious organization here. You plug it in how it resonates. Hopefully, once you learn about this, you get you separate or unactivate your membership if you're a member or what have you, what have you. But I don't know. Only you know your situation and story and what you're going to do there. Yikes. Love. Now, Pisces is about to become very significant in Cancer's life. And a clown. And a Scorpio. A Pisces, a Scorpio, and a clown. <laughs> a clown is about to become very significant in your life, Cancer. Um, one, you're a comedian. One, you're a comedian. So, one, you're a comedian. And I've, I've been picking up comedic energy from time to time. So, congratulations, comedian. Just saying, just saying. Um, comment in the comment section below if you want to comment. Uh, I would love to know who's the comedian. Um, just saying, just saying. Um, but one of you guys is a comedian. And one, you're about to deal with the Pisces and the Scorpio. Uh, it can be Mass Scorpio and Pisces, Mass Scorpio and Scorpio. They could have Pisces or Scorpio in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, and Haven, Jupiter charts. I, it's under the love cards. So I think you might be in a relationship with this Pisces or this Scorpio or want to be in a relationship with this Pisces or this Scorpio. Um, that's exactly what I feel. I think you're deeply in love with them or about to fall in love with them or it might be love at first sight if you believe in that kind of thing. I don't, but some people do. But you have the love card. So um, I think you positively like this person. I like love them, love them. Now, it doesn't have to be romantic connection. It could be a platonic connection where you love this person. Um, for some, I feel they could go to your church or your religious organization or place of worship because it's connected to the spiritual love card. But you plug it in how it resonates. I heard Pisces and Scorpio. They could have Pisces or Scorpio in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node, Menhaven, or Jupiter charts, and a clown is about to become significant. I think you might love this clown. I hate clowns, but you might. I think you're going to love this clown or somebody you're connected to is going to love this clown. For some reason, I feel children energy here. So I feel for some, you might take your, you might hire a clown for your child's birthday party, possibly for some, or you might go to a fair or a carnival or something, and a child falls in love, like, doesn't literally fall in love with the clown, but loves the clown, or you love the clown, or something to do with the clown, and love. I think clowns are creepy as crap, but, you know, you plug it in how it resonates. Nest, an emotionally secure, loving family is important to you. A cancer is about to plan on starting a family soon. A cancer is about to plan on starting a family soon. Well, congratulations, sir, ma'am. Um, whoever you are, you are you're about to plan on fan, uh, you're about to plan it. So it's not like Planned Parenthood. Um, you know, oh my God, I'm pregnant. I'm freaking out. I don't know what to do. I mean, like you're planning this out. So whoever you are, you're a planner, and I love it. You're a planner and an organizer and you want to 
have your life go the way you want it to go. Uh, you don't want unexpected negative towers. Oh my God, I'm pregnant with twin pillows. Oh my God, what am I going to do? You know, um, which I'm not judging people like that, but I wouldn't want that. And, you know, most people, they want to plan and organize their life. So I understand this, ma'am or sir, whoever you are. Oh, I feel your fam. I feel your fam. Understand this, ma'am. Understand it because, I mean, understand things happen with people, but that's why there's protection. And I, I'm just saying, oh, um, but you're about to, whoever this is for, you're about to plan out your family. You're about to plan it out. Uh, I feel for some, you could be on the depot shot or on birth control. And I feel you're with a partner, like you're truly in love with your partner. And um, you're about to plan a family with your partner. That's exactly what I feel here, ma'am. And I, I do think you're a man. Absolutely. It's really beautiful. And I love it, love it, love it. Um, yeah. Emergency medical services. Emergency medical services is what I heard. Emergency medical services. So I feel for some you could work for emergency medical services or you could know somebody that works for emergency medical services. Or maybe you work in the healthcare profession and you're going to have to call emergency medical services for somebody. Uh, maybe you work in a hospital, somebody codes or you... Um, um, work or you work in school nursing and um, somebody codes um, or what have you what have you but um, or you're at home or it is somebody's home and somebody has to needs emergency medical services called how that resonates but somehow emergency medical services is um, significant here and I think it has to do with your family in some shape form or fashion um, because we have an emotionally secure loving family is important to you but you plug it in how it resonates, sir, ma'am. A contact, contact from an Aquarius is about to become very significant in a Cancer's life. Contact from an Aquarius is about to become very significant in a Cancer's life. So uh, whoever this Aquarius is and however they resonate, they could have Aquarius in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Moon, Haven, or Jupiter charts. Whoever this Aquarius is, um, I feel it could be a positive contact or negative. Only you know who this Cancer is and how they apply in your own particular life. Cancer, okay? A Cancer is about to retire soon. A Cancer is about to retire soon is what I heard. A cancer is about to retire soon. Well, congratulations, cancer. Hell, I wish I could retire, but I keep getting wrongfully terminated four times in my city. I I can't, I bank up my money and bank up my money and then boom, I get fired. So, I mean, hell, must be nice. But, I mean, in all fairness, I, I am happy for you, sir, ma'am. I am happy for you. It's just frustrating when you keep getting wrongfully terminated. I mean, and that's just the truth. But, um, congrats to whoever's about to retire. Um, Obviously, you didn't get wrongfully terminated four times in your city. So, congratulations, sir, ma'am. A cancer is about to make a very, 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 very important phone call soon. Very important phone call. Very highly influential cancer. High vibrational. Okay, a very highly influential, high vibrational cancer is about to make a very, very, very important phone call soon. Whoever you are, sir, ma'am, cancer. You could have cancer in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, North and Manhattan, Jupiter charts. I heard you're about to make a very important phone call. And you're high vibrational, so you treat people honestly, trust, respect. 
morals, values, ethics, and integrity. Kudos to you, sir, ma'am. Um, let me see if I hear anything else. Chris, Cooper, Justin, Lily, Chris, Cooper, Justin, Lily, Rashonda, Rashonda, Ashley, Brooke, Ashley and Brooke, Lucas and Kyle, Lucas and Kyle, so you plug it in how it resonates, so I feel that could be your name or somebody you're connected to's name, a first name, middle name, last name, a nickname, etc, 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 you plug it in how it resonates, I hope this helped, I love you guys so much, and if you think anyone else will like my channel, please feel free to share it on social media and word of mouth, very much appreciate it, single mom and two kids, and it helps support a single mom and two kids and one of her income streams. Love you guys so much and namaste.